Hi there, I'm Mali Cecere and welcome to this edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This stunning false color image captured by Sentinel-2A on August 15th features southern Mongolia, bordered by China to the south and Russia to the north. Known for its vast, harsh stretches of space and its nomadic people, Mongolia sits deep within Eastern Asia, distant from any ocean. Home to the two-humped Bactrian camel, herds of horses and the Gobi Desert, Mongolia is predominantly a sandy and rocky plain, with an average elevation of some 1,500 meters above sea level. The Gobi Desert covers parts of China and of southern Mongolia. It is a rain shadow desert formed by the Himalayas blocking the Indian Ocean's rain from reaching the Gobi territory. Asia's largest desert and the fifth largest in the world, much of the Gobi is not sandy but rocky. With long, cold winters and short, cool to hot summers, the climate of the Gobi Desert presents powerful extremes, with rapid temperature shifts of as much as 35 degrees Celsius, not only seasonally, but also within 24 hours. At the bottom of the image, part of the Bagabogd mountain range is visible. Its highest peak has an elevation of 3,600 meters. Low vegetation is present during the warm month. This, along with some scattered trees, gives the red tones that we see in the image. Varying tones of red represent the various types of vegetation and the varying density and condition of the plants. The sharp images from Sentinel-2A's high-resolution multispectral instrument reveals spectacular erosion patterns where the eroded soil, with the help of rain, is carried from the mountain slopes to lower lands. There is a very distinct body of water towards the top right part of the image. The Tatslin Tsagen Lake, one of the four saline lakes that make up the Valley of the Lakes. Mongolia joined the Ramsar Convention on April 8, 1998, which covers wetlands of international importance. The lake's depth and high concentration of salt give the water a vivid turquoise color. Sentinel-2A has been in orbit since June 23, 2015 as a polar-orbiting, high-resolution satellite for land monitoring, providing imagery of vegetation, soil and water cover, inland waterways and coastal areas. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. We will not broadcast during the Christmas holidays, but we will resume our regular broadcasting every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European time, starting on January 15th. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Mali Cecere, wishing you a very happy holiday.